What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I got some shop cards and I got some 3D printed stuff that I want to show you guys. Um, it's been a little while since I've gotten some shop cards and I got three over the last two weeks or whatever it is. So let's see. I'm just going to start with this one. This is a cool, very cool shop card. So Red Hill Rod and Custom California, William over there. Give him a follow if you haven't subscribed. I mean, what a dummy follow. We can follow him. I don't know where he's going to bring you, but um, probably a car show, knowing William. Um, but anyways, so go check them out. Uh, I'll link the description. I'll link the channels in the description. See, this is what happens when I don't do a lot of videos. I get a whole lot of practice. Um... And you can go check them out. So, Red Hill, Rod and Customs. Cool card. Uh, next is Big Sky Model Workshop. This is a new channel. Um, again, good stuff going on over there. Go check Joe out. Um, he's got some cool videos. I will link it in the description of the video. Go give him a sub. Uh, like some of his videos. Tell him I sent you there, please. And last, but certainly not least, um, would be the Dirt Road Cinderella. Uh, she has been a um, loyal subscriber and listener of the podcast and just an all-around awesome person. So, um, finally got her new shop card and she sent a sticker, which is really cool. So, um, thank you very much for that. Again, Linked in the description. Go give these people a sub and uh, tell them I sent you. Okay, so uh, I got some stuff from MCV products. Um, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff. I may have a problem. Um, I may have way more uh, 3D printed stuff than I, I could ever use. That's not true. That that can't be true, right? Why would why would I say that? Anyway. Um, some really cool stuff. And the cool part about it is that Matthew has got some new packaging. Um, and it's really nice stuff. The pack, Well, the stuff in the packages is really nice stuff. But the packaging is really nice stuff as well. So let's just dig right in to box number one. All right. So this is Matthew's. Well, you saw the thumbnail. You saw the bags. Um, but that's Matthew's new packaging. It's got a picture of what's in the package. It's got the part number and a very detailed um, description of what's in there. So that's really cool. So now that we got that out of the way, <clears throat> 351 Ford Cleveland with a 1050 Dominator. I got all kinds of things I can put that in. All kinds. Um... Mopar 440 tunnel ram and headers. Yep, I got something I can put that in too. Man, <clears throat> I got so many ideas in my head. But yeah, that's cool. That's a cool engine. Um, Procharged Hemi. Holy cow. I can think of about 73 different things to do with that. Vintage drag racing Hemi with Hillborn mechanical injection and a power glide transmission. That is cool. That is wicked cool. That's for you, Billy. Uh, centrifugal supercharged Ford 351 Cleveland. Again, really neat. I've got all kinds of stuff that I... You know, I, I just, I've got this thing where I feel like I need to have all of the three 3D printed engines that I can get. Um, that's cool. So we got that. <clears throat> I do really love this new packaging. It's so cool. It's really, really neat. Um, so Pro Charge Big Block Chevy with a Power Glide transmission. LSX Outlaw Twin Turbo Engine. With a power glide. <coughs> Excuse me. 
That's cool. Twin turbocharged 572 big block Chevy with trans. That's cool. That's a that's a cool setup right there. Mopar 446 pack. Yep. All these ideas running through my head like crazy. Uh, okay, this is really cool. Mopar 440 twin four barrels. Yep. I right. boy. Okay. I gotta focus here. Stop thinking about what I'm gonna do with. Okay, vintage blown big block Chevy uh, with Hillborn injection. So that's a cool old school like gasser engine. You could do a gasser or um, heck, anything cool and old school. I'm thinking like Project X style 57 Chevy with that in there. That'd be neat. That would be neat. Okay, that's box number one. <laughs> oh, I have issues. Anyway. So, this is the box that, this is like, I'm going to show you how this came, this is how this came from Matthew, okay? He sent me some stickers right on top of the box, that's really cool. Then there's some extra little doodads here that were thrown in, so that's really cool. Um, M5 nuts, uh, Fender exhaust kit. That's really neat. Those go good with those um, those like pro-charged engines. M8. Nuts. Excellent detail items. Excellent. M6. Nuts. This is cool. Okay, 20. These are magnets. These are magnets. And I would, man, the the hoods and trunk lids that you can keep on with those is just all right racing switch box so that's like the little it's got the toggle switches on it and you would find it up on the roll cage he's got those in stock i would imagine large moon tank that's neat with the separate rings that is cool Again, perfect for a gasser. And he did send a uh, small moon tank. It's got the separate cap. It's got the separate mounting rings. Nice, nice stuff. And then uh, a gasser front end. He must know that I want to build a gasser. He must know. He just must. Um, so there you go. Now, the, stuff, the other stuff. Okay. So, you got a regular Mopar 440 wood transmission. This is cool. Like, okay, this is for this is for this is for something that Ryan Ryan's this is for Ryan. All right. 24 valve Cummings engine um, with the intercooler and 5-speed manual transmission. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's got an old Dodge pickup model that he's going to put that in. So that's cool. Small block Chevy with spread bore intake and manual transmission. That's cool. That's That would be perfect for a stock um, or stock-ish muscle car build. That's really cool. Uh, there it is. Arden Flathead Ford with transmission. I've got a 40 Ford. That's going to go in. That's really cool. Then you got the supercharged small block Ford with T10 transmission and long tube and short tube headers. Hmm. I just had an idea pop into my head looking at that, that I was, yeah. So supercharged small block Ford. That's really cool. Then you've got <clears throat> tunnel rammed, 
big block Chevy. That's a that right there. Street machine build right there, guys. Street machine build. Okay, now some wheels. These are cool. So I got these. These are going on. Something that I'm cooking up for a build. So I got all these ideas in my head. I got to execute them one at a time. But anyway, these are 18 and 19 inch Mopar Rally wheels. Those are really, really nice wheels. Two piece with the lips. Um, I like that because you can do, obviously, you can do the lip one color and then the rest of the, the body of the wheel another color. So that's really cool. And then American Racing Vector Wheels. General Lee, 17 inch rims and tires. Um, those are neat. Those are really neat. And those don't have to be on a General Lee. So. Think back to Buick T-Type Regals. And I happen to have a, I happen to have a um, Grand National in my stash that might get built up as a T-Type with those wheels on it. And then he, Matt was really cool. He threw in some extra stuff here. He threw in some... Dude, I go through so many of these. So many of these. Q-Tips. A nice pair of tweezers. You never go wrong with that. And some snips. So thank you, Matt. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's a lot of 3D printed stuff, right? But like I said, um, I have a an idea in my head for basically everything sitting here. Um, it's crazy, right? But it's true. Um, so uh, if you like anything that I showed you, um, go over to MCV Products. He's got all this stuff in stock. Um, and I really like the new packaging, especially like that packaging right there. It's got a picture of the wheels and tires. It tells you exactly what it is. That's really cool. Um, good job, Matt. So uh, that's it for for today um i do have a little bit of i made a little bit of headway on the next kit that i'm that i'm starting and um yeah we'll see how that goes we'll see how the week goes um but yeah so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing as always uh thank you for all the comments um and go check out everybody i've linked in the description of the video all three of those channels are good young channels and uh could use um use your support so go give it to them okay guys until the next time i will talk to you later